Continuing where we left off, surface number two, the noise she couldn't make. I remember thinking about this game title and thinking, what a quirky name to a game. But then now that I've re revisited this game, it kind of goes with the quirkiness of the game, you know? Kind of love it. So let's see here, we've got a boot and a star and we have a screw, a ship, plaster head and a lantern. So we gotta figure out what to do here. Gotta figure out what to do here. I'm having an amazing relationship with my computer. I always give it cookies. Nice. Computers can be our best friend, you know? Okay, I'm just trying to remember if there's something we need to do in here. Doesn't look like it. Back in the mill, we know we have to get the screws, or I guess the bolts off of there. And there's the bow, which needs to go with the arrow. And... So I guess we'll put the bust here. Look at how fancy that is. Now we can go give it back to the frog prince. Welcome home, JJ. Let's go ahead and give this to the Frog Prince a nice shiny new crown. Thank you for that flaming arrow. Let's get this attached to the bow. Well, paired up with the bow. And that scarecrow is going down. Come on. Oh, right in the groin. Oh boy. We got to light it up, up, up. And something tragic happened with her dog too. I have questions, lots of questions. Okay, let's see if we can get to 100 here and save up. Welcome back, Jules, good to see you again. I do have the uh, screw. Hmm. The lens is too dirty. I can't see a thing. It's very dark in here. Oh, another story page. The psychic discovered another of Jane's memories. I really think I'm losing it. Today I ditched school and went to see a doctor. On the way there, I fainted and woke up standing on the edge of a bridge. I know this sounds crazy, but it's like something inside me took over and tried to keep me from going to the doctor. Why? I try to be a good girl. I do my homework and obey my uncle. I never complain or misbehave. What is happening to me? In extreme cases, repressed pain and anger can cause a psychic break so the personality splinters. But it takes one persona struggling from the inside to come to the surface. Noise began in the depths of Jane's subconscious and pushed herself to the surface of Jane's personality. <laughs> wow. Things are not as they seem, apparently. Uh, almost all the drawings became clear, all but the last one. Handkerchief? Okay, maybe the handkerchief can go there. In other words, she needs therapy a lot. And a hug. I would say and a lot of hugs, honestly. She keeps talking about her uncle, my uncle, my uncle, which is telling me that her, it's, her parents are not in the picture here. Uh, okay. Looks like we need some chalk or something. Oh no, it's so hot in here. We now have the wrench. 
And we're going to use our pickaxe right in there. Get something shiny. A nice little lump of chalk. Oh, very nice. Okay. I solved one riddle, but it wasn't the only one here. Interesting. The chalk comes from the ground. It's, uh, what is it, calcium carbonate or something? Naturally occurring chalk. It's fairly normal. And don't forget, we're in the subconscious mind of a woman. I don't mean the woman part, I just mean in the subconscious mind part. So uh, things aren't necessarily real, right? Collect all the caveman supplies, wood, tools, clothing, shoes. Make sure the caveman doesn't run out of food. Follow the food indicator above and feed the man. Berries, fish, and wild boars. Where do I start from here? Uh, oh, so I think I've got four food, right? Hmm. Oh, but then we starve to death. Maybe we gotta like collect everything. God damn it, wow. This is kind of tricky actually. Wait, I didn't get the fish? Oh, I gotta get the fishing rod first. Wow. Oh, I should get the berry first. I have no idea how I'm gonna get these boots, by the way. Impossible. Ray, welcome in. How are you doing over there? Uh, so I gotta get these boots. How the hell do I get the boots? Hmm. God damn it, it's not enough. <laughs> I can't figure out how to get these boots. I've run out of energy over there. No, I need the fishing rod. Can you get the spear, then get the boar, and get the berries? Uh, yeah, I can't. And the problem is, I get stuck up here, and there's no like no way to get me back. There's just not enough moves. So I got three moves, and there's nothing around me. So I get kind of. It's almost like it has to end here, maybe. I, I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what I figure I have to end there. Yay! No, it's all good, Jules. All good. No need to worry. I've got a stopwatch now. Hmm, interesting. What in the heck do we need that for? Lavender, hello, welcome in. So, I have the wrench. Let's go save the lady. Save the pretty lady. I spoke too soon. Get the blasts. Get the glass ball to the end of the track. However, there's a set of gates controlled by timers. Choose the right timer for the gate to let the glass ball pass. Tick, click two timers to swap them. Hmm. Interesting. What does this do? Damn. Yeah, that's way too sh too long. Not that one either. Ay ay ay. Nope. Oh, that's cruel. I feel like it has to be like just in time here. Mm. That's way too slow. Wow. Okay. Nope, not that one either. Hmm. So that one didn't work. Oh, ho, ho, that was just in time. Oh, wow. Maybe this will do it. Maybe this will do it. Yeah. We saved the lady. oxygen mask. This is a definite sign that she's recovering. Thank you. No, no, no. My goth gal. Why are you wrecking things?
I'm now deep in Jane's mind. It's a desert as it reflects her barren emotional state. The poor girl's thirst has never been quenched. You've expanded your supermarket twice and got more to stuff to sell. Making about a thousand a day. That's awesome, Jules. Way to go. That's a huge milestone, making a thousand per day. Yeah, did you get your uh, storage area unlocked too? Get that all expanded? Uh, no, we didn't get her out. We got one of her... We've basically taken care of her fever, which was the first part of the game, which she uh, was set on fire. And then respiratory. Uh, so she had a fever, and then she had respiratory. So we have two more ailments to get through. So we don't know exactly what's wrong with her at this juncture, but we're going to find out real quick. Because we're in the subconscious, curing her in the conscious world. Uh, okay. I did a lot of compasses. We have a statue. Noise turned into Jane into a statue. She's immobile. She doesn't. She really doesn't want to let her go. Paralysis. Something's blocking Jane's motor functions. She's showing signs of paralysis. Yeah, okay, storage is your next step. You want to open it up? Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. Gotta pace yourself, right? You're doing great. Great work. Yes, this was the third one. The first one was she had a fever. I just went through that, Black Omen. She had a fever. She had respiratory, and now she's got paralysis. And we'll find out what the fourth one is when we get there. Yeah, so we saved her from her respiratory in real life by freeing her from this tub. And now I guess we're going to free her from being a statue to save her from her real life paralysis. This small sprout is almost completely withered, but it keeps fighting. Oh wow, this is going to be entirely about her being thirsty. <laughs> this whole chapter, our Jane Doe is thirsty. Got it. Ooh, very shiny. And that'll do it for this one. We have a guitar pick. It's too narrow and deep. I don't think I can get it without help. The surface of the stone is quite hard and rough. I think I can use it. All right, let's carry on. Oh, look at the dolphins swimming in the desert. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. This is surreal. I've never seen dolphins swimming in desert like that. Damn. You would think before disappearing last time, she would have told us her name. Yeah, this is very trippy. Look at the kitty cat over here. It's a sand kitty cat. A cat born from sand. Such a cutie, but it doesn't look tamed. It's a sand cat. A very Salvador Dolly kind of feel to it, maybe. The clock hands are missing. I should look around for them. It's a snack. This was not a sand, sand snake, though. He is not pre dis. What did that say? Predisposed? Predisposed to help me? Man, these sandcastles are pretty freaking good, though. Fancy looking sand castles. Sand dolphins! Who would have thought Jane's imagination is rich and beautiful under all the sadness? It is quite. <laughs> sand dolphins, wow. 
Sand cat. We're going to name it Sandy. That's actually a great idea. So this cat is now forever shall be known as Sandy. I wonder what sand cats like to eat. That's a hell of a good question. What do sand cats like to eat? Hmm, it's never a good idea to pick up hypodermic needles. And here in Jane's mind, I fear the consequences. I have a dropper. 